You said that you were going to, you were just going to write a simple novel, but Harry's not simple. He's a very complicated guy. Um, he's a guy of contradictions. Yes, he's. A, I mean, on, on on one hand, he um, does believe in the legal system, and he does believe in the in the democracy, the society that is uh, that is working for. On the other hand, he's. Uh, he has, over the series, uh, become more and more similar to the people he's chasing. Uh, so he is slowly drifting toward the dark side. Um, and uh, he's, uh, he's a loner. He's, I mean, he, um, he does see himself as a member of the herd. Um, and he's, uh, he does want to contribute uh, to society uh, as best he can, and uh, the only thing he can is to, is to investigate murders. That is, uh, but but he is sort of a driven character. He's driven in, in his job, written by by guilt from when he was young. His mo his mother died when he was young. He had nothing to do with that. But still, he feels guilty. He feels guilty because he um, can't uh, protect his um, younger sister, uh, who doesn't need. Protecting, um, and uh, and and that is like yeah yeah the that's the theme of his his life. It's that it's that guilt and uh, and this driven character. And he's an alcoholic um, um, that runs in his family. Um, so he's um, he's not a very happy person. Um, he is longing for for the dark nothingness, the, the painless darkness. I think that is what, is, uh, what he wants. Uh, then again, like I said, the man of contradictions. On the other hand, he's a, he's a caring, caring father um, for his uh, girlfriend's uh, son. And, uh, and he's a romantic. Yeah, I, I notice when he, it looks like he's going to have a relationship in police, he almost subconsciously tries to destroy it. Oh yeah, I think he's, um, like I said, his, his mother died when he, when he was really young. His first girlfriend, uh, when he was really young, she committed suicide. She was just, uh, she was, um, she suffered from depressions and uh, also, his um, his colleague uh, Elin Yeltsin uh, in the novel Red Breast was killed, and I think his uh, and 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 those are the persons that he had at that time was the sort of only person that he had really cared for in life. So he, I think, he feels that his his love is like a vampire's bite. It's uh, you know, it's uh, so he's uh, he's careful. Um, I think he tries to, to, just like with alcohol, he tries to stay away from love. Because, mm. yeah, he's, he's, not sim he's not a simple character at all. Every time, you know, I read a page, I learn a little bit more about my life path with a character that just, you know, I think I know him and then I don't. So it's, it's really cool. Yes, uh, I like the... I try to, to um, I try not to define him too much. There's not in my novels. There's not not a voice that tells you what the character is like that will define him for you. Uh, you just get to be present in the room where where he is. So you will hear his his inner voice, what he's thinking, uh, but it's like a voice that talks to you. It it, it doesn't define him. And, and the thoughts are, it doesn't conclude, you will only um, be there when he's observing and making these, uh, you will follow, to a certain extent, follow his uh, train of thoughts, but it's this kind of train of thoughts that we all have, that you can, so uh, um, you, you have to figure out for yourself who Harry is.